So does anybody have any questions so far? Yeah, can you go over again how you chose those colors? I mean, are you trying to choose complementary colors or what? I think it kind of wound up to be a little bit of complementary scheme. Um, also, I kind of, I kind of didn't overthink it too much because when you get into the kind of position that I'm in where I paint a lot and I like to paint lots of series, I like to paint like the same types of things over and over, um, you get to the point where it really doesn't matter what colors you're using. You can just try stuff, especially with an underpainting. So I was just going kind of on instinct here. And I think what happened is that because I'm so used to using those warm tones, if you're at all familiar with my animal paintings, I use a warm toned, uh, warm toned pastel primers that are, it's like a gold color and a terracotta color. Uh, I can show you finished underpainting here. Like this is one of my, this is one of my animal underpaintings. This is with the terracotta art spectrum primer and the gold color is the, is the quinacridone nickel azo gold fluid acrylic mixed in with the uh, golden brand fine pumice gel. So this is my typical work. This is what I'm doing just tons of all the time. So when I'm painting a landscape, I like to try different things, different kind of methods, because I'm not, I don't do as many landscapes as I do animals. And so I haven't really, I feel like I haven't really settled down into a usual, my, you know, I don't have a usual method for landscapes. So I like to try lots of different things, but I think I still gravitate towards kind of a warmer underpainting, probably because the colors that go on top of this, like the pastels that I would use on top of this, I'm very familiar with. I know how to get the look that I want on th these tones. So with a, with another underpainting, just, uh, I just gravitate to that, I think. So I didn't think too hard. There's no need to think too hard. Just try stuff. You know, you'll learn, like I learned that I don't really think I like that yellow, yellow. It's like not quite the right yellow. Something about that, something about that yellow right there that doesn't do it for me. With these other colors, this gray and that pinkish, I like those together. It's something my brain is telling me, but the, that yellow. So I might, I might be adding a little bit more pastels into that area or something, some, somehow or other to harmonize all these colors together when I'm pastelling. So I'll be thinking about that, but it's okay to make mistakes, you know, or, or to do something that you don't really like. I mean, I've made a lot of them. Already. I mean, it's okay. You know, you learn that way you learn <laughs> and you know, it's better, it's better to just jump in and do stuff and make mistakes than to say, Oh, I don't know what color should I use here? Mm. You know, and then be hesitant. And then it takes you longer. And then if you do, do something that you don't like, you're like, oh, oh, I don't like that. You know, no stress. You know, don't stress it. Just, just jump in and, and try things. Okay, thank you. Sure. Okay, so this is pretty nice and dry.